We paid $78 for this Stranger Things Funko Pop lot? Let's see if we made a profit. Alright guys, before we open up this box, we're going to take out all the Funko Pops and then at the very end of the video, we're going to go ahead and tally up all of its value to see if we were able to get back our money and actually make a profit off the lot itself. So just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory as we open up this Funko Pop lot, um, this, I, I was able to find this on Macari um, for around 78 bucks, as I said, and it was actually a really good lot. I was missing a few of the Funko Pops in here because I am a Stranger Things collector. So what I did was usually when I buy lots that I'm actually trying to get like items from it, um, I would just try to see if I can try to recover my money with the other Funko Pops. So that's basically what I did here, or if I save money on just an individual Funko Pop. So yeah, we got a pretty good amount of Funko Pops that I do not have in my Stranger Things collection. So let's go ahead and pull them out one at a time. All right guys, so the first Funko Pop that we're gonna show you guys is right here so this right here is the 11 common and this is just i think her in her uh roller ring dress i think because it's not really like anything special i thought she was gonna have uh, her diorama but yeah this is i guess from the first wave from the looks of it because the diorama came in the second wave so yeah number one two three eight uh Stranger things 11 is a common looks like it's in really good condition so i do need to add her to my personal collection so i'm happy to get her all right guys so the second funko pop from this lot was the black light dustin and this was actually a target exclusive funko pop and funny enough i remember when these first came out i was going like crazy to try to get them because this was at the peak of like the black light era of funko pops so it, they were selling out pretty quickly so this is actually dustin from stranger things 3 in his uh camp nowhere outfit and it's obviously like black light but again it's in really good condition and yeah this one we're actually going to be selling because we already have them so the next funko pop so as you guys are going to see a little bit of a trend here so we have the black light 11 funko pop once again from stranger things and it was a target exclusive and again i do actually have her in my collection but i'm not gonna lie to you guys these stranger things black light funko pops i think are really cool i think they fit the atmosphere like the whole upside down very very well and they were done pretty uh pretty well so once again another pop that came in pretty good condition i'm not seeing any issues so far so that's a good thing and this one right here will be for sale finally the last black light funko pop from that little stranger things series was the demogorgon black light and honestly in my opinion it's probably the coolest black light funko pop just because like when the monsters like kind of like how they made the uh slashers into black light I think the monsters being blacklight just is very fitting. So I am going to let you guys know there is a little bit of damage here. So this isn't a mint condition pop. So again, the value does get skewed a little bit. But overall, other than that little issue, it is in good condition. And we do have this one in our collection. I actually traded my friend for it. And uh, yeah, we're actually going to go ahead and sell this one too. So now we're going into some more Funko Pops that I do not have in my collection. So the first one that we're going to start off with is this massive, massive Target exclusive four pack of the 8-bit uh, of Stranger Things kids. So as you guys can see, this is obviously the season one of Stranger Things. And um, believe it or not, they actually had made this a while back. I don't know why Funko decided to recycle it into a four pack, but it actually used to come in individual pops inside of like a little arcade machine, kind of like how they do the... Uh, the t the t-shirt boxes and stuff so that was actually inside of that but they decided to re-release it for a four pack so here we go guys again it comes with 11 with the egos mike dustin and lucas and again this is their 8-bit form and look at the end of the day i got in a lot and i kind of makes my value back so pretty happy with it the reason why i actually got this funko pop lot the reason i got this funko pop lot was right here ladies and gentlemen and this is the Duffer Brothers 2 pack upside down edition. So I actually do have the Duffer Brothers 2 pack that released on Hot Topic that was limited to a 2,000 pieces. And funny enough, I remember guys, I could have easily bought this on the Target website uh, plenty of times, but I was just kind of like sleeping on it. And of course, when Stranger Things blew up, everybody went ahead and bought the Duffer Brothers 2 pack. I will say, and this is a very, very uh, sad thing, I don't think the picture uh, when I originally bought this lot had damage, but the Duffer Brothers did come damage. And honestly, this uh, shipper, um, the person who shipped these packages out could have done a better job at actually bubble wrapping the Funko Pops. 
So that was a ding on their shipping in my part. They put a lot of bubble wrap, like they put bubble wrap everywhere, but it wasn't actually like wrapped around the pops. But this right here is a ding. And especially on the Funko Pop that you really, really want, when you see something like this, it does hurt a little bit. So yeah, but other than that, I'm really happy tied into collection. I'm not gonna be selling these anytime soon. So either way, I don't really care if it's damaged. I'm not a person that's like uh, complaining if it's damaged all the time. I did get it for a really good price. But on the pictures, this was not damaged and it sucks because the shipping wasn't the best. And as I mentioned before, ladies and gentlemen, this will be for my personal collection. So yeah, let's go ahead and tally up the value and see how much value we got from this entire lot. All right, so the first Funko Pop is this Demogorgon Blacklight and it is worth $18. The second item is this 11 Blacklight and it's worth $16.50. The third item is this Dustin Blacklight and it's worth $15. The next Funko Pop is this 11 Common and it's worth $10. And the fifth Funko Pop was this 11 with Eggos Mike Dustin Lucas 8 Bit Stranger Things 4 pack and this is worth $22. Finally, this Duffer Brothers 2 pack upside down is usually worth $45, but because of the damage, we'll count it as $30. So the total value we got for this Funko Pop lot was $111. So that means we made a profit of $33 on this Funko Pop lot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today's video. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like, comment down below which was your favorite Funko Pop, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you guys on the next one.